Welcome to Home Acer, where barn doors meet hardware to create fabulous centerpieces for homes and office settings. Today's video will cover how to install floor guides for bypass hardware kits. If you have questions about choosing the right barn door floor guides, check out the previous introduction to floor guides video. Determine position. Our bypass hardware kits are available in both double and single track. The placement of the floor guide will vary for different opening ranges and track lengths. In either case, we recommend that you install the floor guide in the middle of the door's sliding range, such as at the corners of door openings and at the overlap of two doors, to ensure that the floor guide remains in the groove or grips the door and does not wobble from the derailment. If your door opening is too large or the door sliding range is large, we recommend using our Homicer door stopper which is free to be fixed in any position on the track. The double clip floor guide is included in every hardware set as a basic floor mount. It consists of two L-shaped clips that can be used either to hold the door or as a clip to slide into the groove under the door. In addition to this, the two-in-one adjustable floor guide is included in the single track bypass hardware kit. It can be mounted on the overlap of two doors on the rear door and hooks onto the front door. This installation is also available for two wheel floor guides and roller floor guides, which can be purchased on our website or from retailers. Gather supplies. Before you begin the installation, make sure you have all the necessary supplies on hand. Power drill with 1 8 inch bit, screwdriver, tape measure, and pencil. Read the instructions carefully and familiarize yourself with the installation process. Installing the double clip floor guides. First install the rear door floor guide after indicating where the floor guide is to be installed. With the door in the approach position, place the floor guide on the floor, making sure the door is straight and parallel to the wall. Then mark the holes, drill the holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit, and fasten with a screwdriver. If your door does not have a groove, clamp two pieces of floor guide to the door and position and fasten in the same way. Then install the front door and install the floor guide for the front door in the same manner. This completes the installation of the double clip floor guide. Installing the two wheel floor guide. First install the floor guide for the rear door. Please check the wall surface carefully. The floor guide should be flush with the wall and attach the felt strips to the rollers included in the package. Then adjust the rollers according to the thickness and position of the door. Once the door is in place, Place the floor guide on the floor and mark the holes, then drill the holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Then secure it with a screwdriver. Next, install the front door floor guide. After the front door is in place and won't wobble, make sure the location where you want to install the floor guide is level and can be drilled and install it the same way, making sure there is enough space between the two doors and double checking that the front door is level with the wall after installation. This completes the installation of the two-wheel floor guide. Installing the roller floor guide. First, install the floor guide for the back door. Please check the wall carefully. The floor rail should be flush with the wall and follow the instructions to double check all the accessories. Attach the felt strips to the rollers that come with the package. First select the style that fits your door size according to the instructions and then pre-install the floor guide. Once the door is in place, Place the floor guide on the floor and mark the holes. Then drill the holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit. To make it easier to install the holes and drill screws, we recommend that you install the large wheels last and lock both wheels with a wrench after making sure the door is parallel to the wall. Next, install the front door floor guide. Once the front door is in place and won't wobble, Make sure the location where the floor rail is to be installed is level and can be drilled, then install it the same way, making sure there is enough space between the two doors and double checking to make sure the installed front door is level with the wall. At this point, the roller floor guide is installed. Installing the two-in-one adjustable floor guide. First, installing the back door guide. Please check if your door has a groove, which will determine the way you use the floor guide. When assembling the floor guide, Carefully read the instructions and select the correct guide that suits the thickness and position of your door. After the door is in place, place the floor guide on the floor against the wall and mark the holes to drill. Now, drill the holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit. 
Then secure it with a screwdriver. After ensuring the back door guide is stable and the installation position is determined, start installing the front door floor guide. Follow the previous steps and ensure the door remains parallel to the wall. With that, the installation of the two-in-one adjustable floor guide is complete. Keep in mind that the exact steps will vary slightly depending on the type of floor guide you are installing and the type of the door being used. Be sure to refer to the introductory video and instructions for barn door floor guides for best results. For more detailed instructions, videos, and specific guidance on different types of barn doors and hardware, you can refer to our YouTube channel.